Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Lambert Park for this round six clash between Sydney FC and Blacktown City here at Lambert Park. It's been a fantastic day in Sydney, about 19 degrees on pitch at the moment, beautiful conditions and both sides looking for three points tonight in a game that may see them move into the top five, just a point outside of the top five at the moment, all to play for here as we just see both sides shake hands in the middle of the park we've got us calling this one for you of course there are other games live at the moment and we'll keep you abreast of those games throughout the evening but first and foremost tonight's game here let's have a look at the lineups firstly the visiting side Blacktown City FC in goals number one Tristan Prendergast number three Daniel Collins number four Yanni Sparakis number five Grant Lynch number six and captain Matt Lewis number seven Devante Clute number nine Joey Gibbs number 11 Manny Gonzalez, number 19 Adam Berry, number 21 William Much, and number 22 Leroy Jennings substitutes for Blacktown City, number 8 Daniel LaRugio, number 10 James Dimitriou, number 15 Mason Versi, number 20 Dylan Nishki, and number 24 Jackson Bandera. Of course Mark Crittenden is the coach. Now to the home side, Sydney FC in goals, number 1 Thomas Hewitt bell number 3 Ben Van Muirs, number 4 and captain Lee McGinn, number 5 Paddy Shabilio, number 6 Harry Van der Sarg, Number seven, Jerry Scatardis. Number eight, Joel King. Number nine, Hamy Slamberton. Number 10, Marco Tilio. Number 12, the second of the Tilio boys, Giuseppe Tilio. Number 13, and rounding out the first 11, Jordi Swibble. The substitutes tonight for Sydney FC. Number 15, Ryan Teague. Number 17, Callum Talbot. Number 24, Jake Holman. Number 30, Adam Pavlovsic. Number 23, Harry McCarthy. Referee for today's fixture is Anthony Mansour. Assistant referees Janus Adabju and Maggie Price and Liam Cole is your fourth official. We, we Sydney FC to kick off here. They'll be running towards the scoreboard end here at Lambert Park. Whilst Blacktown City in the white tonight, they're away strip. They will be running towards the Leichhardt end of the ground. It will be Hamish Lamberton to get things underway here as the referee just checks his officials. And away we go for this round six clash between Sydney FC and Blacktown City. Van der Sarg now pressed by Jennings. Comes back inside. To his captain in McGing. Skatardis there, heavy first touch, but does get it back nicely to his captain. Under pressure now, once again, is Van der Sarg, so just corrals it down the line. And Matt Lewis gets it back to Grant Lynch but only as far as Paddy Sibilio and it's Marco Tillio now for Sydney FC pressed there by Daniel Collins Paul does fall nicely though once again for Sydney now through Giuseppe Tillio Sibilio has Van der Sarg to his right cuts back in not a lot of options at the moment so gives it back to Skatardis on ball now switch of play there to Van der Sarg has Lewis in front of him it's ball in behind for Joey Tilio. Lynch strong there, but Sydney with the throw. It'll be Van der Sarg with the throw for Sydney. Lamberton just gets it back to Skatardis. Van der Sarg again on the right. Jennings comes just to hold him up, so he has to check his momentum and go back inside to Skatardis. Lamberton now. Still Hamish Lamberton for Sydney. Goes down. Referee points to a free kick for the Sky Blues just outside the D. So the first opportunity of the evening goes to the Sky Blues. As we see the Blacktown keeper in Tristan Prendergast just getting his wall organised. Looks like it will be a Five-man wall. Of course, right on the edge of the 18-yard box, so very hard to get it up and over. Will be Skatardis for Sydney, though. Jerry Skatardis steps up. Goes through. Beautiful save there by Prendergast. Had to be made to his left. And as far as Joey Tilio keeps it in now. Back to Van der Sarg. Skatardis there first. Of course, Sydney 
Had a fantastic win last week against Mount Druitt Town Rangers. After trailing 2-zip, came back to win 4-2. A fantastic 10 minutes, final 10 minutes that was, out at Poppendetta Park. A lot of that momentum changed when Hamish Lamberton came on in the second half. So Jim Van Weeren will be looking for a big game from his number nine tonight. Lewis with the throw, just looking for some runners, has to go back to Lynch, pressed there by Lamberton. Tilio in his back now, so Lynch gets it forward. Not the greatest of the first touches there by Joey Gibbs, just looked to lay it off for Leroy Jennings. Will be a Sydney throw. forward there by Lynch to Clute has a look up has a long ball for Joey Gibbs but certainly not on Shield Bell gets things moving quickly all inside there just turned over to Berry for Blacktown so a switch of play now through the four in Sparakis Skatardis now has Marco Tilio. Joel King to his left, that's where he lays it off. Good possession at the moment from Sydney. Call out to the right for Van der Sarg and first time ball in, far post. Looking for Swivel but falls nicely for William Much. Ball inside just intercepted there by Tilio but Blacktown look to break now and it's Leroy Jennings for the city chasing back is Harry van der Sarg. strong on the ball there but referee does point to a goal kick and great work there from the Sydney FC right back the track back in that play and in the end win back possession for his side Shabilio now over the top. Just saw Lamberton there just take a quick step or two, so thought that that's what he wanted, but straight to Prendergast. Looks to get things going in his own half for Blacktown City. Of course, Blacktown City last week narrowly going down to Manly at Cromer Park by a goal to nil. It's one of those games, speaking to the City Boys pre-game. Just the ball wouldn't find the back of the net. They had the, the lion's share of the play. Of course, Mitchell saving the way for the home side last week and ultimately making the ultra football team of the week through his performances in that game. As we see a throw in the far side, quickly taken by Much. Sparakis. Sydney not pressing high at the moment, just happy to let Blacktown come into their half. Keep their shape. The one two pass there looking inside was much, but turned over. Lamberton there. A little bit of an air swing. So Blacktown will look to build up again. Ball forward. Looking for Clute. Pressure there by Van Muirs. And City now through Matt Lewis, their captain. Inside ball looking for Clute. Daniel Collins switches play now to Sparakis. Good possession football by Blacktown City. Inching their way forward. Beautiful ball in behind by Grant Lynch for Matt Lewis. First time ball in near post for Joey Gibbs. Back heels are looking for Jennings. Leroy Jennings. Can he get a foot on it? No, he can't. An infringement there in the process as well. So, some enterprising play there from Blacktown City. Can confirm for you. Nine minutes gone out at 
Bosley Park and it's Marconi Stallions 1 leading Sydney United 58 FC nil. And into the 40th minute out at Seymour Shaw it's still Sutherland Sharks nil, Manly United nil. so an early start and a good one at that for Marconi Stallions tonight in the local derby out there. Tony Tanus is calling all the action there for you. Whilst Dave McDonald is at Seymour Shaw covering that game for from New South Wales tonight. He was down the line for Clute. Tries to flick it on first time, but only as far as McGing. Launches it forward. Tough there for Lamberton, but he still manages to keep the possession for Sydney. Joey Tilio. And Sydney will look to switch the play now. Van Mules for the Sky Blues. King on the far side. Will be a, tuck, a throw in to Sydney. Throw in for Lamberton. Looks to get into the mixer. First time for Swibble. Cleared away. By City. Now through Gibbs in the centre of the park. Has McGing in his back, so switches the play to Much. Pickpocketed there almost, and it's Sydney FC now through Tilio. Still going. And free blows his whistle though. An infringement there. On the Blacktown defender, but they'll need to. To watch Sydney just in the last couple of minutes have pressed a little bit higher. I know both sides like to, to play out from the back. So I'm sure they'll be on notice after almost nicking that one away. Spirakis. This goes short to Collins. Swibble presses him hard. He has to go back to where he came from. Spirakis, ball over the top. Looking for Jennings there, but a little too much pace on that one. Secured Bell does a simple pass to his defender. Blackton just allowing them to play in their box at the moment, in and around. Again, over the top for Lamberton. Nice first touch there by Hamish Lamberton. Blacktown players remonstrating that it was their ball, but referee says no. Sydney ball. Heavy touch there by Skatadas. Hands it over to Blacktown there. Lynch's ball straight back to them. King. Dispossessed there. That is Manny Gonzalez on the far right. They have been changing over the last few weeks. In that spot there between James Dimitri and Manny Gonzalez. That's Gonzalez's turn tonight to start for City. With the best of clearances there by Prendergast. It will be a Sydney ball. Begin forward. Goes over Swibble, so nice and easy for City to defend that ball. Berry looks to switch the play to the centre of the park there through Sparaka's first time ball. Looking for Klup, but nicely cut out by McGing. Over the top now. Venusar gets there first, so goes straight back to his keeper. Hands it up towards the halfway line. Sparakis with the header. Very in the centre of the park. It does fall to Marco Tilio now though. That's Skatadis and that's where he's gone. Cherry Skatadis for Sydney. Tries to get the ball inside to Joey Tilio, but it's turned over. First time pass there by... That's Joey Gibbs there but... 
Pinion turned over quite easily. You know how dangerous Blake Town City can be in the transition. We saw that fantastic goal against Sutherland Sharks a couple of weeks back. It was finished off nicely by Leroy Jennings. So didn't take them much more than 15 seconds to get from one end to the other and put it away. So Sydney again will need to watch where they're turning possession over. An updated score from Marconi Stadium. It's Marconi Stallions now two leading Sydney United 58 FC nil. So sensational start for the home side out of Bosley Park tonight. And nine on half time at Seymour Shore. Still Southern Sharks nil, Manly United nil. Brenda Gast bombs for looking for Jennings. That's Joey Tilio now. Just looking for some options. Sibilio. Vandersarg. Swivel. Press there by Lewis. They turn it over and it's Clut now for City. Switch of play finding much. Gonzalez is ahead of him on that right wing, but not really on. So had to go back to Sparakis and it's Lynch again. They'll build up once more. Lewis. Clute. And good ball in behind. Cut out nicely by Van Mules. And it's Skatatis now for Sydney. Tilio. Into the Blacktown half. But nice tackle there by Much. Winning back possession for City and They'll have an opportunity to break now. Gibbs first pass to Clute. Has a skipper and Lewis cross to his left but just can't get there straight away. So it's Lynch now. Gets it to Lewis. Clute, he'll try his shot. And his luck from distance. We have seen some brilliant goals from that vicinity from Devante Clute over the years. Just shaking things up early. Letting Hewitt Bell know not to come off his line. Switch of play now by Tilio finds Van der Sarg on the right. Ball over the top. Too heavy though. Of course, if you're watching via the Facebook stream tonight or the YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share it. As we've touched on in recent weeks, we've had record numbers tuning in this year. All games live in the NPL New South Wales Men's 1 competition. And the Panthers have certainly got behind it with their viewership. Of course, all the latest match reports, highlights can be found on both the MPL New South Wales Facebook page and face Football New South Wales YouTube channels throughout the week as much now on the right for City tries to go far post but cut out by Hewitt Bell it's Van der Sug now for the home side down the line for Swivel Lynch in his back can't really go anywhere, isolated somewhat, so has to go back to Van der Sarg, and it's Sibilio now, Skatatis, King to his left, first touch there by Lamberton, Joel King on the left, first time balling, looking for a runner there, it was Joey Tilio, but just didn't hit it hard enough, some good one-touch football there by the home side. Handball there by Gonzalez. Concedes the free kick to Sydney. Oh. 
And Mules back to his keeper. City starting the press a lot higher. Not allowing City, sorry, Sydney as much time in their defensive third. Just into the 19th minute here at Lambert Park. No real opportunities for other sides at the moment. Still Sydney FC nil. Blacktown City nil. Berry. Sparakis. There's much on the right flank but goes back to Berry. Jennings. Has Tiller coming across. Good tackle there by the number 12. And they look to play it out. Deep in that corner there. Free kick taken. Well, here we go again. Femuel's forward. No one there though, so much will just let it go straight through to Prendergast. Some big congratulations to Sydney FC striker Hamish Lamberton in making the Ultra Football Round 5 Team of the Week for that performance off the bench. Had a pop and dead this week. What a game changer it was for the young striker. Clute tries to go the dummy, but it's nicked off him, and now it's Skatardis. Joey Tilio. Ball over the top. For Lamberton, goes to head it down for Swibble. First time by Jordy Swibble. Not far wide though. Nice knock down there by Hamish Lamberton. And on the half volley. Sydney's leading goal scorer thus far in 2019 with four goals. Jordy Swibble not far wide. Sparakis. This is unbelievable out at Bosley Park. It's now Mark Haney Stallions 3 leading Sydney United 58 FC nil, And that's only 22 minutes in, so many had tipped Mark Haney to win tonight. Certainly on paper looked like it would be a tight tussle. Mark Haney certainly derived a lot of benefit out of that win last week against Akoa. Collins with a deep ball forward for Gonzalez. Nice chest down. Much over the top. Looking for a header. Making in the air. Still an opportunity for City through. Joey Gibbs! And just over the bar, Joey Gibbs. They pounce like a tiger there, Joey Gibbs, and not far off the opener. Here at Lambert Park. Marco Tilio pressed by Berry. He holds it up nicely for Joel King on the left. First time ball in. Looking for Swivel, but it's in no man's land in between there. Hamish Lamberton and Geordie Swivel straight to Prendergast. So, a regulation catch in the end for the custodian. And at half time. It's Seymour Shaw, it is Sutherland Sharks nil, Manly United nil, so obviously a tight tussle there. Dave McDonald calling all the action there. Tony Tanous is in the bike out at Bosley Park tonight. Joey Tilio. Van de Sarg. Goes long ball, looking for Swibble. Headed down by Sparakis, falls nicely to Swivel, has a shot, deflected and parried over the bar. Oh, so near there for Sydney. In the end, Tristan Prendergast recovered well. 
Managed to parry it over to safety. Still not out of danger, are Blacktown City? Marco okay, Tillo will be the man to take the corner for Sydney. Again, and Van Mures have made their way up. Swivel there as well. Ball in, near post. Cleared easily by Joey Gibbs. But recycled on the half for Sydney now through Shabilio. Marco Tille there, an accidental handball. I certainly can see the uh, Sydney guys building in confidence as the season grows. Speaking with coach Jim Van Weir in pre-game, certainly got a lot of benefit out of that Wollongong Wolves loss a couple of weeks ago. And that confidence building win last week for them out at Town Rangers. Van der Sarg plays a 1-2 there with Shabilio. Oh my chance so Pemules just playing some possession football out the back at the moment are Sydney Shabilio looks up tries to dink it in behind Lynch heads it down for Jennings it's pressed by Shabilio foul says the referee City now with a shot. Gonzalez gets it deflected and falls nicely for Joey Tilio. Heavy touch there, but just a slight foul there by Grant Lynch. Marco Tilio now taken down by Daniel Collins. So he will be the first man in the book tonight for Blacktown City. Plenty of chat on the field at the moment. Van der Sarg and Marco Tilio, but looks like Van der Sarg wants this one. Van der Sarg thinks it over the top, looking for Marco Tilio. Headed there by Lewis, headed out by Gibbs. Still not out of danger, Sydney. Van Mules there pressing. Lynch in the end gets it away, but he's fouled in the process. Or something different there, good variation by Sydney. Lynch to the four. Ball over the top looking for Gonzalez, but King there first. Just heads it down to his keeper. Of course, tomorrow plenty of games still to be played out. Down in Wollongong tomorrow, it's the 3 pm kickoff game. Wollongong Wolves, the league leaders, taking on Mount Druitt Town Rangers, so it'll be interesting to see. Now Mount Druitt go after a couple of heavy losses. And that'll be Nate Patrick calling all the action there. We'll come back to the games in a moment. Balls one in the middle of the park there by Shabilio. Skatalis looks to play quickly but he's off the spot. Also at, tomorrow at 4.30 Rockdale versus Sydney Olympic. So Rockdale with a caretaker coach in charge at the moment. Their first MPL game with that caretaker coach in charge since Paul Reed's departure last week. And that'll be Adam Santa Rossa calling all the action there and at 5pm Okawa Sydney City East up against Apia Leichhardt Tigers. Nicholas Kutnyak behind the mic there tomorrow. Not for the first time at Hensley this year. 
his third or fourth game there. Definitely his third. I think he called the round one game Hakawa versus Sydney FC and also the Sydney Olympic game there a few weeks ago. Always a good day out there at Hensley. Very and Sparakis is the one two there. Switch at play. Great first touch there by Lewis. Collins. Jennings tries to play Collins down the line but can't get there first. Billio strong on the ball there. Lamberton calls for it, and that's where it goes. Hamish Lamberton, can he get the ball in behind for Jordy Swibble? Cut out nicely there by Sparakis, though. It had to be made. Swibble was one on one with Prendergast. It's a nice read there by Yanni Sparakis. Van Muir's. Went to go long for a moment there, but decided against it. Possession football on the cards. Ball in behind. Joey Tilio looks to keep it in, and he does. There's Lewis in front of him. First time ball in by Van der Sarg, looking for a flick. Swivel gets there, but can't get the, the power or the accuracy on it. Of course, we're basically a quarter of the way through the season already. That's how quickly the NPL season has gone in 2019. And next week being Easter, there's plenty of games on offer. Good Friday, Easter Saturday, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday. We'll touch on those games later on, but every day there'll be a game on over the Easter break. First time ball in there, but not exactly what William Much would have hoped for. So Sydney just looked to play out now. As we just hit the 30 minute mark here at Lambert Park, still Sydney FC nil, Blacktown City nil. And Swibble on the far side. Marco Tilio. Calling for it, far post is Van der Sarg. That's where he goes, Harry Van der Sarg. First time ball in. Straight to Prendergast though. Nice play from Sydney, breaking down in the end, but good switch of play there by Tilio. And the run by Van der Sarg. Clute. Van der Sarg coming back into position, wins it back for Sydney. Skatardis, Joey Tilio. Lamberton on his bike, but Prendergast was quick off his line too. Tilio now. Marco Tilio going towards the 18-yard box. I slide it in for Lamberton. Just a too heavy touch was the first one, but it still is with Sydney through Marco Tilio. Twisting and turning. Dispossessed there by Jennings. And away they go now through Clute. Much there with a the tackle on. Swivel, but studs up, says the referee. So it will be a Blacktown City free kick on the halfway line. I'm not sure what I'm seeing tonight out at it. Bosley Park, but Marconi running right out there at Bosley Park over Sydney United. 33 minutes in, and it's 5 0. Well, he wouldn't script that game, that's for sure. Guess there'd be more Sydney now trying to save facing that one. Sydney United, that is. Much ball over the top, looking for Gibbs. The Mules with the header. 
King gets there. Swivel. Turns it over though. It's now Clute. He's always making his way in towards the 18-yard box. Clute gets the ball in far post, looking for Jennings. Overcooks it. It will be a Sydney goal kick. Of course, Mr. MPL himself, Eric Subiano, out here tonight at Lambert Park. I'm sure he's tweeting and keeping social media busy with all the updated scores from around the grounds as well as the action here at Lambert Park that he's seeing live. Lynch. Sparakis. Clute. Much overlapping run. Pulls into his path. Tracked across there by Skatatis. And wins the goal kick for Sydney. So good defensive work there by Jerry Skatatis for the Sky Blues. Well, to be fair, I'm still a little shocked at that scoreline out at Marconi Stadium tonight. Certainly ran into some form last week. Marconi, they were definitely good for the three points. 5-0 in the first half is, is some effort there by Peter Tsekinis' boys. Gibbs, dispossessed by Shabilio. Joey Tilio inside for Skatatis. Joey Tilio. Unhappy there with that pass. It's one out for Blacktown through Adam Berry, and he finds much on the far side. City now into. Sydney's half through Lewis. Jennings cuts back inside. Fendersag doing well at the moment in that battle. Berry. Lynch. Nice turn there by Leroy Jennings trying to get onto his left. Foul is conceded by Sydney just outside the 18 yard box. Those two players there, of course, Manny Gonzalez and Joey Gibbs. Gibbs with the ball in his hand, though. He's certainly going to be the exponent of this free kick for Blacktown City. As Hewitt Bell tries to get his wall in order. Kansas City score now through Gibbs. Joey Gibbs for Blacktown City into the wall. First time ball in by Lewis. Much with a header down. Clute tries to get it back into the mixer. Headed there by Van der Sarg. Berry. Lynch. No advantage played, says the referee, so they'll go back for that infringement. Another good set piece opportunity for Blacktown City. They want to get their defenders into the mix, and I certainly do. Tanya Collins has made his way up, as has Grant Lynch. Barry with the free kick now. Goes far post. Had it down and away by Sydney, but only as far as Clute. Mark Otilio wins the ball, though, for the Sky Blues, and they look to break now on the counter. Isolated there somewhat. All over. Cook the little. Beats Sparakis and straight through to Prendergast. 37 and a half minutes gone here at Lambert Park. Still nil-nil. 
in what has been a cagey affair in this round six MPL. New South Wales men's one clash tonight. Gonzalez goes to play the one-two with Clute. Many Gonzalez ball in looking for Gibbs. Just not a enough depth on that one. Cute Bell releases quickly for Van der Sarg. They keep possession though. Quite tight in there by Sydney. Jennings presses quickly, but the release from Hewitt Bell straight to King. And tugging the shirt there, referee says play on. And it's Marco Tilio now, finding Lamberton. The ball in behind, looking for Tilio again. Marco Tilio, can he square it in? Great save there off the line from the skipper in Matt Lewis. Well, enterprising play down there on the left hand side, namely Marco Tilio. Rode the challenge, play on, says the referee. Rounded the keeper, but saved off the line by Matt T Lewis. It'll be Joey Tillo to take this corner for Sydney. Ball in near post, headed away. Solidly there by Gibbs. Gibbs again with a follow-up header. Push out is the call from Prendergast. Trying to condense that middle third, not open it up. Ball in looking for Swivel. Lynch there first. Heads it to safety. Will be a Sydney throw on the far side. <laughs> Tilio rides a challenge and wins the corner for Sydney. This time it'll be Marco Tilio to take it. Ball in. Flicked on header there by Lamberton. Looking for his captain in McGing. But Sydney just let it go out and win the throw. Jennings working hard there, but Sydney with the ball and possession once again. Swivel. Dink over the top. Joey Tierno tries to get it back to him. Deflection for, fell nicely for him though. Strabilio, McKing. Foul there on Lynch. Assistant referee Maggie Price here just making sure that the ball doesn't move off the mark and back to where it was. As we see City now through Clute. Has a shot from distance, gets a deflection, still not out of danger. Flicked on there by Shabillion as far as Lewis. It's Jennings to his left. Leroy Jennings now for Blacktown City. Can he get the ball in? Good challenge there by Harry van der Sarg. Sends the ball into the neighbouring park. Will be a Blacktown City corner. Clute with the ball. As we see the ball whipped in, middle of the box, headed out by Sydney. Skatata's pressure there on Collins, but Collins does well to win back the ball for Blacktown. The one-two there with William Much. Nice ball over the top by Daniel Collins for Gonzalez. 
He can stay on his feet. Kenny White, can he square it up for Devontae Clute? Had to ride the challenge there from Tilio, but Devontae Clute now over the top. Headed ball back in by Jennings. Cleared away to safety by Skatatis. Ten yards too many, says the referee. Switch the play there by King for Van der Sarg. And it's Harry Van der Sarg now for Sydney FC. Of course, the big Sydney derby on in Sydney town tonight between Western Sydney Wanderers and Sydney FC. That's about to kick off in a minute's time. Sparakis does well under pressure from Lamberton to clear to Gonzalez. Clute. Skatatis there. Certainly let Clute know that he was in the area. Tough challenge. Lynch, not a lot going forward, so as we into the 45th minute here at Lambert Park, not a lot of additional time to be added on. What well, has been a pretty clean affair, both with tackles and also injuries in the first half. We may see a minute fall forward. I was looking for much there. Kept in by Sydney. Now through Swivel. Tilio. Lamberton in the box. Joey coming in as well, but wasn't the best of balls in there by Marco Tilio. Lynch now. Like with one of the last opportunities of the first half through the skipper. In Lewis, certainly no additional time added on here for this first half between Sydney FC and Blacktown City. Half time here at Lambert Park. Sydney FC nil, Blacktown City nil. And into the 61st minute at Seymour Shore, it's still Southern Sharks nil, Man United nil. And right on full half time at Marconi Stadium, still Marconi Stadium's five, leading Sydney United 58 FC nil. We'll take a short break. And be back for the second half here at Lambert Park. Sydney FC nil, Blacktown City nil.
Mitchell Malia scored in the first minute and also a double to Midian Pavlovic to take him up to five goals for the season and, and a double also to Marko Jesic. So very comprehensive that first half by the Stallions. Lamberton fighting hard in there. Referee sees an infringement. So we'll be Sydney with the free kick. Of course, Midian Pavlovich making the Ultra Football Round 5 Team of the Week last week for his brace against Hakawa, so no doubt he'll feature heavily again this week, but it's Gonzalez now for City. Goes short, handball is the cry, play on says the referee, still Gonzalez. Much goes to the far post, can't get a runner in there. Collins will win it back for Blacktown though. Has to go back to Lynch. Pressed hard there by Lamberton. Sparakis. All inside now. Looking for Gibbs. High foot is the cry. Referee agrees. So it will be a Blacktown City free kick just outside the 18 yard box. Perfect distance. For City. And it will be that man, Joey Gibbs. Referee man, Sewell says it was a yard back. No problem, sir, says Joey. Sparakis gives it to Gibbs, has a shot. Hits the wall, cleared away by Sydney. It's Marco Tiller now, cuts back inside. Lynch there. And Collins, but does get the ball out to the right now. Through Van Muir's, has a shot. Rasping shot there. Across the face of goal. Prendigas says I had it well covered. For a moment there, he certainly was looking at that bottom far post. Spirakis goes to Much. Collins. Berry. Lynch. Lewis just trickles out for a Sydney throw. Good bill. Had a one there, but only as far as Sydney. Back down with possession once again. Lewis to Lynch. So that many times over the years. And ball four there by Barry looking for Gonzalez. First touch, nice, brings it down. Second effort though, not what Manny Gonzalez would have hoped for. In Sydney now, into the Blacktown half through Joey Tilio. Jennings tracking back to hold him up. Who races across to help out. Mules has to go back to his keeper. And pressure there by Gibbs. Should Bell just hits it long. Slight tap there in the middle of the park. Will be a Blacktown free kick inside the circle there. Berry. Jennings onto his right. 
Leroy Jennings. Collins. Daniel Collins from distance has a shot. No cause of concern there for the skipper and sorry the custodian in Hewitt Bell. We've seen this from Blacktown over the duration of the first five weeks. They do like to come out in the second half and press a lot higher than they do in the first. As we can see here now, keeps locking them down in the corner. Wins back possession now through much. Switch a play to Lynch as Lewis left. Joey Tilio coming across to do some work. Defence there. Little jink there from Jennings. Spirakis. Prendergast acting as a libero there. Ball forward. Gonzalez. Some pressure there. Tilio. Gonzalez first time finds Gibbs. Berry. Thinking in behind for Gibbs, but possession. Handed over to Sydney. Van der Sarg streaming down the right. Tilio leaves it for Skatardis. Jerry Skatardis for Sydney. Lewis wins it back though. Solid work there from the skipper. What a tussle it was and has been throughout the night. Skatardis, nice ball in there looking for Tilio. Joey Tilio, Pendergast with a save. Just like that, Sydney almost opened up the Blacktown defence, but Tristan Prendergast once again alert at the cause. Pushes it over for a Sydney FC corner. A delightful ball there from the left by Skatardis. The drag down by Joey Tilio. Great save by Prendergast. Tilo with the delivery. Goes near. Cleared away there by Berry. Sparakas helped it on there, but Sydney with the, the throw on the far side. there are three games remaining this weekend tomorrow 3 p.m. kickoff down in Wollongong it's Wollongong Wolves the league leaders up against Mount Druitt Town Rangers Nathan Patrick calling all the action there 430 Rockdale City Suns up against Sydney Olympic always a good duel between those two that's Adam Santa Rossa's game and Skatardis now inches his way towards the 18 yard box Lamberton onto his right he's sizing it up from distance a little too far and wide there, Hamish Lamberton. And at 5 o'clock, Akoa, Sydney City East, up against Arpia Leichhardt. Tigers, of course, Arpia also flying high in second spot, just one point off. Wollongong Wolves at the moment. And there's a four point gap until the third position, so only currently occupying that position. So can Arpia. Maintain the rage, or will Hakawa bounce back after last week's loss to Marconi? We'll find out from 5 p.m. tomorrow. Skatardis, still Jerry Skatardis, does well in the end to get a foot on it and maintain the possession. Berry there, heavy touch, but lucky for him, wins it back. Collins, chest it down. much. Gonzalez, the one two there, looking for Clute. Just can't find him. Nice first touch football there though by Sydney and it's Marco Tilio now. Collins there. Does enough to impede the run there by Marco Tilio but ball falls nicely for Van der Sarg. Long pass ball looking for Lamberton. Just can't climb high enough. 
Referee has seen an infringement though, so will be a free kick to Blacktown City, of course, next week being Easter. On Good Friday here at Lambert Park, it's RP Leichhardt Tigers taking on Blacktown City. It's a four o'clock kickoff, Olympic versus Man United, a 4.45 kickoff at Belmore. On Good Friday, Easter Saturday, just a lone game, Marconi Stallions up against Sutherland Sharks at 7 p.m. out at Marconi Stadium. Easter Sunday sees Rockdale City Suns taking on Sydney FC. That's a 4.30 kickoff. And also on Easter Sunday, Hakoa taking on Wollongong Wolves at 5 p.m. Whilst I'll be out at Denza Park on Easter Monday covering the Sydney United 58 and Mount Druitt Town Rangers game. That game slated to kick off at 3 p.m. Van der Sagen, Clute on the far side. Van der Sagen wins out. <laughs> Those of you watching this game tonight and not watching the, the A-League derby, 17 minutes in and Sydney FC 1 leading Western Sydney Wanderers will uh, uh, Neil, sorry, Alex Brock the goal scorer for Sydney Manny Gonzalez now King in front of him, holds it up for much first time ball in blocked for a corner by Joel King and will be Devante Clute take this for Blacktown. Ball in. Looking for the header. Headed away. First time volley by Sparakis. Again, still Yanni Sparakis on his left. McKing clears it away though. And a swivel now for Sydney. Under pressure there. Does well. Lynch nice and strong on the ball, wins it back for Blacktown. Swibble there, tussling with Collins, but it's Daniel Collins who wrestles back possession for Blacktown City. Just over 13 minutes gone in the second half. Still Sydney FC nil, Blacktown City nil. Been a cagey affair, tightly contested one at that. The first goal will be crucial tonight if there is indeed to be one. Lewis Berry. Swivel coming across just to slow things down. Lynch, Clute, switch on. William Much now. Clute. First time there by Gibbs. Nice ball. William much overlapping. Offside. Says the official. Maggie Price on the line. Skatalis with the switch. Van der Sarg first time. Shabilio. Joey Tilio, force back. Good work there from Blacktown, and they win out with the throw. <laughs> Referee certainly looked like they indicated the uh, linesman on that far side, but it will be Sydney ball. As we see the first substitution of the evening. And it'll be coming off for Blacktown City, number seven, Devante Clute. And he's replaced by the eight in Daniel Arujo.
the Mules just steps on it there. Shabilio almost catching Scotatus out was Berry. Managed to stay on his feet. Van der Sarg, Scotatus, Tilio, Joey running down the right hand side. He'll do well to keep this in. And he did well. Just unfortunately for him, best he could do was keep it in for Blacktown City there. Much. Go short for Gibbs. Arujo. Much overlapping. Can he get it deep enough? Oh, almost catching out there. Hewitt Bell. So he has to parry it over for a Blacktown City corner. Just as I was about to say, he didn't have enough depth on it. Almost catching out the custodian there. William Much. It'll be Manny Gonzalez for Blacktown City. Goes far into the mixer. Only as far as Lynch has a shot. Blocked. Still with City through Lynch. Gets it back in. Not cleared away yet. McKing finally does so. Gets it to safety. For Sydney. Rougeau takes the throw quickly. Sparakis. Stands up. Not much going on. Goes back to the left. Lewis. Ball in. Looking for Gibbs. Nice first touch. Joey Gibbs. Can he finish it? No, he can't. A delightful touch there by Joey Gibbs. Creating the space. Agonisingly close there for Blacktown. Yours. Shabilio. McGing. Lamberton with the run. First time he's there is Lynch. Jennings. Still working hard. Leroy Jennings there for Blacktown. Just a little too much on it there for William Much. Can't keep the ball in. As we see the first substitution of the evening for the Sky Blues and coming off is the 12, Joey Tilio. And he'll be replaced by 24 in Jake Holman. King with the throw. Collins. Gibbs. Had Jennings steaming through the middle, just couldn't find it there. Gonzalez doing well there to win it back for City. A tough challenge there. I have an injury. That's William Much, the right back for Blacktown. Of course, he's had a great start to the season in his new life out at Seven Hills. Of course, William coming across from Sydney FC, one of the youth boys from Sydney FC. And certainly made that right back position his own. In the early part of this season. He will be okay to continue, so that's a good sign for for Will as well as Blacktown City.
So we will see that substitution now. So William Much will go off. He'll be replaced by the 15 in Mason Versi. And we will see a bit of a change in formation for Blacktown, of course. Versi being an attackive type player. Jennings has come across to the right, so we'll just see how that unfolds for the next few moments. Gibbs, dispossessed there by Holman. Ben Muir's. There's King riding the touch line. And they go back to the right. Rujo just floating around looking for the stray ball. Ball down the line looking for Lamberton, but... Out on the full it goes. Daniel Collins now for Blacktown. Long ball forward. Looking for Lewis. Falls nicely for Sydney and they bomb it forward for Lamberton. Lynch just shouldering him out of the way there. Allowing Sparakis to get the ball back for the visitors. Now Gonzalez. Nice first touch there with a the head. As Jennings steaming to his right but goes inside. Manny Gonzalez still twisting and turning Manny Gonzalez. But in the end, it was a tackle there from Holman that had to be made. Still not out of danger though. Blacktown with the corner kick. <laughs> Manny Gonzalez now. Goes short. Doesn't get anything like he'd liked to have on that. Ball back from Arujo. Gonzalez was offside so he just let it go. Throwing taken. Lynch. Lewis. Collins. Tries to beat Holman. Gets it down the line but intercepted by Van der Sarg. Sparakis there, does well. The number four sees Hewitt Bell off his line. Straight to the keeper though. Marco Tilio, Hamish Lamberton. Still going Lamberton. Tries to get towards the 18-yard box on his left. Foul conceded. Daniel Collins certainly remonstrating there that he got the ball. Referee saw otherwise. Another great opportunity now from another set piece for Sydney. It's been a really tight contest this one. Both sides really keeping their structure throughout the almost 
71 minutes played here. Of course, Seymour Shaw full time there. Sutherland Sharks nil, Manly United nil. And 64 gone out at Marconi and still Marconi Stallions 5 leading Sydney United 58 FC nil. Game's about 7 minutes behind this one. As we see Harry van der Sagen, Marco Tilio addressing the ball for Sydney. And it's van der Sag who takes it. Straight into the wall. Shabilio. Percy helps it on its way up towards the halfway line. Good first touch there by Gibbs. Just trying to flick it on. Will be a city throw though. Just inside their half. Jennings now on the right, looks up, has Gonzalez, but nice ball in behind for LaRujo, Daniel LaRujo, cries of handball, corner kick says the ref, going to be Gonzalez again, hoping to get a, a bit more on it this time round for Blacktown City. Gonzalez gets it in the middle of the box, headed away. Bounces over Versi. He tracks back and gets it to Lewis. Holman pressing hard, trying to win the ball. Rust ball forward there by Prendergast. And it's Marco Tilly in the middle of the park now for Sydney. Straight to Joey Gibbs. Good read there by the number nine. Berry now. Versi cutting inside to the edge of the D. Jennings now on the right. Deflection. Back to him though. Collins. Back to Jennings. He looks to go inside the box. Leroy Jennings squares it up. Just looking for a runner in the right position. Snapped there by Gonzalez. Can't find the inside of the far post. And that will be his last touch of the game, Manny Gonzalez. So he'll make way for James Dimitri. That'll be a like-for-like -like swap. I've caught a few Blacktown City games this year and James Dimitri certainly had some impact when he has been used by Mark Crittenden off the bench. The ball makes its way out on the far side. Throw taken quickly. Not where it was for the referee, Anthony Mansour. Sparakis now. As we enter the final 15 minutes here at Lambert Park, still Sydney FC nil, Blacktown City nil. Manny Gonzalez now inside the box, squaring it up, looking for. Oh, that was Leroy Jennings, sorry. He was looking for Manny Gonzalez. It's James Dimitri, sorry. Dimitri with a shot. Just not enough. Penetration there by James Dimitri. into 
Black down half an hour. One two there between Lamberton and Tolman. Does go out though for a Blacktown throw. Gibbs. Foul there by Skatatis. No advantage, so the ball will be called back. Ball forward looking for Dimitriou. King gets there first. Concedes the throw though. Two balls on the field, so. This inverse, he just helps it out on the far side. Arujo with a turn now. Daniel Arujo tries to dink it in behind for Dimitriou, but it's Sydney now. Through Marco Tilio. Leroy Jennings coming back. Still Marco Tilio. Rides the challenges on the byline. And does win the throw for Sydney. Shribble takes it. Skatardis. Looking for Van der Sarg on the far side. First in now for City. Sparakis, Gibbs, it's Barry now, Collins, just happy to play it around at the moment, Blacktown City looking for any sort of opening, we haven't seen much tonight in the form of openings. Lewis there. Sparakis now. Dimitru. Back to Sparakis. Looking for runners easy. So, falls to Jennings now. Rujo. Lynch. Still Lynch. Tries to play the 1 2 in. For Dimitri has a shot! And off the post it goes! Well, we spoke about impact. That man's had abundance of it this year. Off the bench for Mark Crittenden. And James Dimitri, if you don't mind, sends Blacktown City 1-0 up here at Lambert Park. Well, some good movement, good possession there from the visitors. Grant Lynch. Doing well. Getting it to Dimitriou. And what a finish it was. Off the far post. And Blacktown City take a massive lead here in the final 11 minutes. Jennings forward now for Rougeau. Has Van Mures in his back. He'll hold it up to the goal scorer in Dimitriou. Just tries to dink it in behind. Joel King there first. You can see in the, the wind certainly in the sails now of Blacktown City. Has Versi into the box. Looking to cut it across. Conceding the throw. Sorry, the, the corner. Here's Van Muers. Blacktown in. Still plenty of time to play. Certainly no hurry at the moment. It's Mason Versi to take this corner for them. Out at Marconi, 73 gone. It's still Marconi 5. Leading City United 58 0, so some sort of revolve 
shown by Sydney United in the second half out there. Ball into the mixer. Beats everybody, but falls nicely for Lynch. On his left, can he get it back in? Cleared by McGing. Holman holds it up. For Swivel. Long ball forward for Tilio. Rougeau's there first. Falls to the left back now in King. Inside he goes. For Skatardis. Jerry Skatardis for Sydney. Lazy switch of play there. Luckily for him. Ball has been won back by the Sky Blues. Skatardis now. Much better. Switch of play. Finding King. Lamberton turns. Gets the ball in behind for King who's still going. Squares it up. Straight off his line was Prendergast though. Cutting out the angle. Good goalkeeping there. From the keeper. I hate to use the word veteran. He's certainly not a veteran, but he has been around in the MPL scene for a long time now. One of the great goalkeepers of this competition is Tristan Prendergast. Great servant he has been for Blacktown City. Arujo now. Leroy Jennings looks for the switch. He called it. Finally does get there though. Jennings does well. Keep it in. Sparakis. Lynch. Straight to McGing. Sydney will look to build up. I dare say a little bit quicker than at times when they're happy to play with it around the back. Just over seven and a half minutes to be played here at Lambert Park. Blacktown City won. Courtesy of that James Dimitru ripper. Lead Sydney FC nil. Speaking of him, Dimitri now wins back possession. Jenny's dispossessed. Dimitri strong and just helps it down the line. Out of danger, out of harm's way. As we see another Sydney FC substitution. And it will be Hamish Lamberton coming off for Harry McCarthy. So we'll see McCarthy move forward now. The youngster straight into the action. Click on header there by Dimitri. Foul on the Rougeau, using all his experience there. Lynch. Spiracus, pressed by Swivel. So goes to Jennings, looks up. Angle shot down there for Gibbs, so has to go back to Collins. Dispossessed though. It's Marco Tilio riding the challenge. Off Collins, no advantage. Certainly had ringside seats for that one. And it's Marco Tilio now. The 1 2 with Swibble. Ball inside for Holman. Lazy first touch there from the 24. Hands back possession to Blacktown. Holman can't keep it in on the far side, so again it'll be another Blacktown City throw. Of course, don't forget the action. Comes thick and fast again tomorrow. 3 p.m. Wollongong Wolves. Who've started the season. Unbelievable. Four wins and a draw from their opening five games. Leading the competition. Taking on Mount Drill Town Rangers at 3 p.m. Nathan Patrick calling that one for you. It's ball over the top looking for. Dimitri. 
Oh, lucky there though. Good header from King, just enough on it to get it back to his keeper. At 4.30, Adam Santa Russell will be bringing you Rockdale City Suns and Sydney Olympic. Always a tough game between two great adversaries there. And at 5 p.m., Akawa Sydney City East up against Arpi Leichhardt Tigers. Nicholas Kutnyak will be calling that one there. A game that I look forward to going out to tomorrow as a, a spectator and, and watching, just keeping an eye on a couple of the teams in this competition. There's a ball there by Rougeau, finds Dimitri. James Dimitri now looks to hold it up. Going to be blocked there by Joel King for a corner though. 41 and a half gone in the second half. And it's Blacktown City 1 leading Sydney FC Neal. Of course that fantastically taken goal by James Dimitri. You'll see all the highlights throughout the week. On the MPL New South Wales Facebook page as well as the Football New South Wales YouTube channel. So if you're watching this one, you obviously tuned into one of those. Don't forget to like it and also share it around and, and spread the word. The ball in now. King with the header away. And as far as Collins tries to head it back in. Swivel forward. Lynch. A little bit of aerial ping pong here. As we see a yellow card there. And it will be Van Muir's for Sydney who gets the yellow. Just the two yellow cards tonight. Of course that was Sydney's first yellow. And Daniel Collins in the 25th minute received a yellow for Blacktown City. So quite a clean game tonight for Anthony Mansour to referee. Joey Gibbs now. And we bury in fact. Leroy Jennings. I just used to eat some of the clock off. Sydney only just made their final substitution so coming off as Paddy Sibilio replaced by Callum Talbot so the 17 on for the Sky Blues the final few moments here at Lambert Park and City look to play into the corner do some time off the clock The second yellow of the night for Sydney FC. Joel King this time getting his name in the book. Ken City just happy to play with it in the corner. Come away from home. Uh, Sydney FC at the moment. Quickly taken by Hewitt Bell as we see three additional minutes of time added on to be played here at Lambert Park. So three additional minutes. Still an opportunity for Sydney to get something out of this one. King there with a the header. Straight into Jennings. Throw take quickly by Sydney. Skatardis now. Switch of play. Van der Sarg gets the ball in first time. Ball looking for Skatardis. Still not cleared away by. Blacktown, Berry in the end, gets a deflection off Tilio. Well, 
Well, so near there for Sydney FC. Looks like it's Grant Lynch at the moment, still on the ground for Blacktown City. Eighty-four gone out at Marconi Stadium, and the halftime score remains still Marconi Stallions five leading Sydney United fifty-eight FC nil. Of course, next week's games we see on Good Friday, Arpia taking on Blacktown City here at Lambert Park. Also on Good Friday, Sydney Olympic and Manly United. Easter Saturdays, Marconi Stallions and Sutherland Sharks. Easter Sunday, Rockdale City Suns and Sydney FC. Also Easter Sunday, Hakawa, Sydney City East and Wollongong Wolves. And Easter Monday, the game that I'll be calling out at Edenza Park, Sydney United 58 and Mount Druitt Town Rangers. Free kick taken, long ball forward, looking for Dimitri. Again, looking to play it into the corner. Ball trickles out for a Sydney throw. Into the last minute or so of time added on here. One last opportunity for Sydney to bomb forward. Can they get something out of it through Skatatis? Chase there by Versi, but great challenge in the end by Jennings. Holman looks for the switch of play. Nice ball there. Finding Van der Sarg. He gets it in near. Cleared away. By Lewis. And that should pretty much wrap it up now. Blacktown with possession. Can wind down the clock as we hit the 93 minutes. Mark here at Lambert Park. Ladies and gentlemen, that's full time here at Lambert Park. And it's Blacktown City 1 defeating Sydney FC 0. Of course, Blacktown's goal coming in the 79th minute. Beautiful strike from outside the box by their number 10 in James Dimitri. That's all that separated them tonight. Not a lot in it. Tight contest. But it's Blacktown City who go on to claim the three points and take it back towards Seven Hills for tonight. I'm Will Gotsis. It's been a pleasure having you out here at Lambert Park for this one between Sydney FC and Blacktown City. Don't forget all the highlights and media reports available through the various social pages this week. Obviously the MPL New South Wales Facebook page will have all the reports as well as the highlights. You can also catch up on the full game reviews of all the games throughout 2019 on the Football New South Wales YouTube channel as well as the highlights that will come out on Monday. But once again, full time here at Lambert Park. I'm Will Gotsis. Thanks for tuning in. Blacktown City 1 have defeated Sydney FC nil.